One key element in criminal trials is the admissibility of evidence. It is the evidence that falls in line with the provisions of the Evidence Act that eventually get admitted to shape the course of a case. And that was the battle that the defense and the prosecution had to face in the Olisa Metu case. The documents are a letter from the former National Security Advisor Sambo Dasuki authorizing the transfer of 400 million naira into the account of Trexas Investment, a company owned by Olisa Metu. That document also comes with an e-payment bank schedule and mandate as an annexure which confirms the transfer. The other documents are petitions from the Office of the National Security Advisor to the EFCC regarding the transfers. Defense counsel had objected to the admissibility of these documents on the grounds that they were tendered by a person who was not the maker of the document. But in eventually, Justice Okon Abang who overruled the objection, stating that a legal advisor in the Office of the National Security Advisor who was tendering the document in evidence was competent, being a public servant in the service of the federal government who are the complainants and prosecutors in the case. Something is obvious here. The system is working. And that is the beauty of a democratic governance. Uh, the government thinks it has a case, it brings the case to court. The court is there sitting, listening to the witnesses. The prosecution has presented a, a witness and we are at liberty to cross-examine. And we have done so to our satisfaction. The case was adjourned to Wednesday 27th for the hearing of arguments in the application for violation of bail conditions and the continuation of trial. Meanwhile, the trial of former Imo State Governor Ikedi Hakim continues before Justice Adeni Ademola on Wednesday. In Abuja, Femi Okewo, NTN News.